Hey guys, welcome back. This won't be a video about me building a SaaS on day four on top of SaaS Rock because I didn't know I needed this so much and I'm so excited to release it today, events and webhooks. Uh, basically, an event is something important that happened within your SaaS application. Stripe, for example, has events and web and webhooks. And I'm calling events within Remix Actions. Uh, right now, not on the API, but maybe in the future. Every event has a DTO, so you can receive requests uh, on TypeScript and not ja uh, pure uh, vanilla JavaScript. And I have a table with pagination and filters, so you don't get all the heavy requests. Let me show you how it looks. Um, right here, I can filter by the name of the event, user profile updated or role assigned, subscription subscribed, row shared. Um, we'll get to that in a second. And uh, on the SAS row core, I've added five application events, but these are highly customizable. So you can add uh, whatever event you want. Let me show you each one of these. For example, account created. Let's go to the application side and create a simple organization. So right here, we should have our account created event. Now let's update our profile on the application side. Alex Martinez. And here we have user profile updated. Now let's subscribe and unsubscribe. I have not set the prices, but this is really quickly. And let's go back to subscription. Subscribe to the standard plan. And here we should get the subscription subscribe event. Now let's cancel. And finally, let's assign a role. So right now I'm the only one on this application, but I'm going to remove me from the user and assign me to the user role. And let's refresh this. And here you have it, five events. Um, now, let me tell you um, that admin slash events, meaning this route is tied to certain role, which is this one right here. And it's only for super admin developer, uh, developer auditor or guest, uh, just for show. And this engine is, as I said before, highly customizable. Let me show you how it looks um, uh, on the code base. We have the event service. Right here. Uh, we basically create an event on the database with the payload. And for each end endpoint, we're going to call it. And where are we going to call this? On the API of SASROC. API events webhook attempts from this created attempt. So for example, on the subscription, I have this endpoint, but you could um, call your custom endpoints right here. For enterprise subscribers, uh, you could do that in the future on the dashboard itself. Right here, I will have a create webhook and listen to this and send to Sapir or webhooks by Sapir, Sapir events. And you can customize the business logic depending on um, the thing that you want to overwrite. For example, uh, this is what is called after uh, someone subscribed. So we can overwrite this uh, webhook. And as you can see, here is the DTO. We get the user and the subscription. So we just return this text, new customer on the product title with this price uh, and this billing period. Um, this looks like this, subscribed. Let's go to the details. And these are the webhooks attempts. We just have one, but if we want, uh, want another to stop here, he will, here we'll have the whole attempts. So this is the message that, we, uh, that was returned, new customer on the standard plan. And this was uh, the endpoint. It started at this time and finished at this time. And status uh, success. And this is the payload that I sent to this webhook. So um, 
let's uh, talk about the differentiator for the SASROC enterprise. I will implement 40 application events. All the application events are right here. For example, for users, for members, for roles, for groups, subscription, account, linked ac accounts, API created or called, I need to add that, email received, and this is the most important one, I think, role created, updated, deleted, shared, tags created, updated, deleted, uh, comments, and this is the reason, this one right here is the reason that I implemented this engine, because on the application that I'm building on my series, uh, you can see the previous three videos, I need to override a workflow transition. So let's say that we already implemented that. So this will be called like workflow transition and we will get the body and do something with the row that I am updating the work workflow state. So I'm going to release this uh, in about an hour or two and it will be on the private repo. And these 40 events, I will implement them in this week and you could implement your custom webhook endpoints and retry unsuccessful uh, attempts. And you will have also admin events uh, because these are just for the application, but we need events for a blog post created, a admin user added, a role added, an API created, a contact or deal created, and so on. And finally, um, these events will be available for the tenant as well, uh, but these uh, features will be enterprise only. So uh, let me uh, do an example of how you can call a webhook by Zapier. Let's say that on subscription, we want subscription service here, I mean events service. Uh, we will call another webhook, but this time we'll, we will call a Zapier, Zapier webhook right here. We're going to create a SAP. And this is taking longer than expected, so I'm going to pause. So here we have it, webhooks by Zapier. And let's say retrieve and catch a hook. I think, continue, uh, no, catch raw hook. And this is the endpoint for this subscription subscribe event. And let's test this trigger. It's waiting for me to send a, a request. So let's subscribe. And let's see the logs. So it's running and it says success. So let's try again. So we get this request and you could, uh, I don't know, uh, connect to um, Google Sheets and add all your subscribers here. Uh, let me do that, but I'm going to pause. So here I'm selecting the spreadsheet that I want to work with and the worksheet, which is new subscriber, subscribers right here, but we don't have any headers. So let's add um, what's on the DTO itself. So we got a user, user ID, user email, subscription, well, price and title. So let's refresh the fields and for the user ID, we will want. So it seems like we have a problem on the call, but let me fix that and try again. So I fixed it because previously I had uh, selected the raw hook. We needed the catch hook. And now let's set up the action, which is uh, connecting to my Google Drive and inserting to this spreadsheet on this worksheet and the user ID will get the user ID, user email, 
use a price and the title of the plan and let's um, test and continue I believe it will insert here yeah and let's publish this application I mean this app so whenever we subscribe to another plan it will add here but this is ready yes so let's wait and here you have it that's the events and webhooks uh, for SASRock.